Distance is a measure of how far an object moves. The journey of a tortoise is just one example of a distance. We can measure this distance in various ways, such as using a ruler or a measuring wheel. Distance is measured in metres, which is an SI unit, the international system of units. And originally the metre was defined as one ten millionth the distance from the North Pole to the equator via Paris. As you can see, the distance of this journey is four metres. Now distance is a scalar quantity, and a scalar has magnitude but no direction. If the tortoise returns to the start point, it covers the same distance. So we can find the total distance of this journey by adding the individual parts together to give eight metres. But in what way are these two journeys different? Displacement is the length and direction of the straight line drawn from the starting point to the ending point of a journey. Displacement is a vector quantity. Now a vector has both magnitude and direction. We can find the displacements of two journeys by drawing straight arrows from the start to the end points. Displacements can be written by giving a distance and also some indication of direction. So in this case, the tortoise has moved four meters to the right. These displacements are different as they are in different directions. So now the tortoise has moved four meters to the left. We can therefore summarize the total displacement of both journeys as zero meters, as the tortoise has returned to its original starting point. So how exactly can we describe a displacement in more detail? Well, we can express displacements in terms of magnitude and direction. In this example, the displacement is shown by the straight arrow from the start to the end point, and we can find the magnitude of this displacement by simply measuring the distance between the start and end points. The direction of this displacement is found by looking at what direction we need to travel in to get from the start to the end point. So, in this example, the direction is southeast. So does that mean the magnitude of a displacement and a distance are the same thing? Well, the magnitude of displacement is always less than or equal to the distance travelled. And this is because the distance describes the full journey, whereas the displacement only describes the start and the end points. Distances always add as they are scalars, whereas displacements add and subtract as they are vectors that rely on direction. Here you can see that the displacement is short and direct at just three and a half kilometers, whereas the distance is long and complicated at nine kilometers. For your exams, you need to be able to describe the differences between distance and displacement. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.